So, now that that insanity of the mind map is done, uh, we can start to see the underlying concept of gene expression. Gene expression is the net effect of all that turning on and off of genes that I've discussed. So, effectively, uh, we can also change the way that DNA behaves by damaging it. Um, we can turn off the genes. We can turn on the genes. We can turn on the genes that control the genes. Or we can turn off the genes that control the genes. Or we can just break it with a hammer. Um, by, by hammer, of course, I mean like uh, high energy UV light. So, you know, that works too. Or harsh chemicals. Harsh chemical solvents. Um, so, there's a couple of different ways that we can affect gene expression. So, if you remember how genes control everything from the timing of the cell cycle to apoptosis to the presentation of cell surface antigens, if we change the expression of those genes, we get to something where those things are now out of control. And that's where we get cancer. Cancer is Greek because isn't it always? It's Greek for the word crab because of the way that it claws its way through the tissues. Cancerous cell is the result of damage or mutation that's not repaired and results in failures on multiple levels to control the cell cycle. So in cells that will divide, it results now in cells that will divide without limit, never die, and will resist signals that tell them to do otherwise. And that's how we end up with tumors. So, effectively, DNA that does not check itself. Okay. So, what cells are going to become cancer? Labile cells are the most at risk of becoming cancerous cells for a number of reasons. The two major ones, the two easy ones to describe on a paper, for example, would be that more DNA replication is occurring when you're dividing those cells over and 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 over and, over and this will continue for a while again. And that more replication means you have more greater risk of mutations because replications can result in errors. So every time you replicate billions of base pairs, you're going to make a mistake. How often when you're writing just one page worth of information do you make a spelling mistake that you don't immediately go back and correct? Well, billions of letters. My point, exactly. So oftentimes the other reason is because labile cells are often epithelial cells. And epithelial cells are often found in areas that are frequently exposed to environmental injury and assault that can result in DNA damage. Um, now, this link here, which if you copy down real quick, is a uh, SciShow video. Once again, not a sponsor, I'm just a big fan. Um, for, that will do a good job of breaking down those reasons a little bit further. But I'm going to get into the hallmarks of cancer, which is the title of a paper written, uh, published in 2000. And uh, they added some stuff in 2011, they made an addendum, but at AS level, um, you don't need those 2011 updates to the hallmarks of cancer. So Douglas Hanahan and Robert Weinberg are a team of American scientists, which is why Cambridge will not ask you for their names, because they're Americans. Um, so uh, they wrote a paper that gave the best summary of the biological properties of tumor cells. And we're going to list those now. The six properties. The acquisition of self-sufficiency in growth signals leading to unchecked growth. This is effectively a brick on the gas pedal. Oh,